So here's a really strange thing that's been developing. The question is, is Baron Trump involved in this very scammy crypto pump and dump scheme for a DJT crypto coin that was pumped up and then kind of dumped? And when this was originally discussed as having some connection to Donald Trump or to Barron, it was completely dismissed as some wild conspiracy. But then Martin Shrikelli, remember pharma bro Martin Shrikelli? He then went out who did time in jail for felony fraud and he then went out and then he said that he's involved with this coin and that he worked with Barron and he claims that he has 1,000 pieces of evidence linking Barron to this coin, this kind of pump and dump crypto coin. Um, and he went out there and he's been saying that over and over again. And we have not really had any forceful denials from Melania. And Melania is someone who would usually go out there when it comes to Barron right away, have her press people put out a statement saying Barron's not involved in this. I mean, you remember, for example, when uh, there was news that Barron was going to be a Florida Republican delegate for Donald Trump. And then the office of Melania put out a statement right away saying that, no, he's not. And he's too busy to be involved in this. Look, Barron's an adult now, young adult. He's 18 years old. Um, his name is being thrown around as being involved in this thing. You would just think that there would be some sort of forceful statement if his name is being put out like that. It's why I want to be very careful in this report, of course, about um, you know, making any definitive comments. I mean, it's unclear, it's unproven. We can't specifically link this to Barron. I want to be very clear about that. There are a lot of people speculating who's behind this mysterious DJT coin. Martin Shrikelli is claiming that the ownership lies with Barron and that he was helping Barron to, to pull this thing off. Um, I think this comment right here is one that resonated with me this person goes uh here's what i don't get about this djt coin and martin shrikelli uh who's been talking about it for days that he's allegedly created this crypto coin with baron melania spent her entire life protecting baron her life's work is her son baron say what you want about melania and i criticize her all the time but a bad mother to baron she is not Additionally, both Melania and Trump have worked hard to keep him out of the public eye. In my opinion, there is zero chance that they are going to allow his public coming out to be with a shit meme coin partnered with a felon, Martin Shrikelli. Do we really think Melania heard about this and was like, yeah, this is a great idea? No way, no way. There are only a few scenarios. Shrikelli is lying about it all and will be in serious trouble. Remember, he's a felon, so him being involved, saying he's involved in this, and then being involved in a pump and dump as a felon can make him in a lot of trouble, a lot of criminal trouble, potentially, if this was all a lie. Shrikelly was duped by a fake AI Baron with fake contact info, bad for everyone. Three, Baron did indeed help create it, and Team Trump is in chaos behind the scenes. Or four, Shrikelly is trying to force Camp Trump to accept the coin no matter what so he can get rich. And none of these scenarios are awesome. Here's the article um, by uh, New York Magazine, and they're uh, trying to get to the bottom of it. This is the intelligencer, and it says, um, did Baron Trump uh, launch a DJT crypto coin with Martin Shrikelly. And here's the data that they put out here. During an X Spaces event earlier this week, Shrikelly claimed that he and Baron Trump are behind a mysterious new Trump branded cryptocurrency. If you think this sounds like a Mad Libs about some of the most controversial topics of the 21st century, you're not alone. Let's investigate. 
So a Trump-themed meme coin was registered on a blockchain platform earlier in the week. The coin's value quickly shot up more than 385%, generating more than $363 million in trading volume, following rumors that Trump's 18-year-old son was behind it. As the New York, as the New Republic explained, a hefty award was offered to anyone who could figure out who was really responsible for the DJT token, which led convicted former hedge fund manager Sir Kelly to speak up. It wasn't long before Arkham Intelligence, a data analytics firm, promised a 150,000 bounty dollar bounty to anyone who discovered who was behind the asset. Within hours, a blockchain sleuth named Zach XBT posted a series of screenshots to X, claiming that he'd cracked it. The token was invented by Pharma Bro himself. Shrikeli then sent a series of direct messages to Zach XBT, in which he claimed that he and Trump's youngest son were behind the coin. Quote, I have over 100 pieces of evidence I created it with Barron read one of the messages. You can see the message right there. Shrikeli elaborated during a live X space event earlier in the week on Wednesday, saying that he had originally been approached by a friend of Barron's and that Trump's son was on the 40 to 50 person team behind the coin. The so-called farmer bro said he had formed a friendship with Barron and even advised him on where to go to college. We're friends, he wants to make money, Shrikeli said during the event. Here, I'll just play the clip so you hear what Shrikeli said. Let's play it. Over the course of the project, we basically debated how do you do this? What is the best way to do it? We spoke with Ansem. You guys may know Ansem. We spoke with him about five or six times. I don't think he's going to deny that. Um, we initially thought that having 70% of the supply in Trump's hands was going to make sense. I'm not going to get anything because I'm not adding value. My last name is not Trump. This is Trump's value. It would make no sense for me to get 50% or 25% or something like that. But at the same time, I like Barron a lot. I kind of viewed him almost like a son figure. And I just wanted to mentor him and help him. I helped him make a, a decision as to what college to go to. I just have been, you know, trying to be helpful and friendly as much as I can. So if he wants to do a crypto, I know crypto, I'm happy to help. And um, we thought 70% for the Trump side, how he was gonna split that up's up to him, uh, but 30% would be put in an LP and or an airdrop. We talked to Ansem and he said, no, 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 you got it all wrong. You can't do that, that's not gonna work. And we said, yeah, but this is the president, it's a big deal. You know, it'll sell out no matter what. Some guy in Iowa is going to put $500 in. He said, nope, you're wrong. You're going to mess this up like Tate did. And what you got to do is you got to put 70% in the liquidity pool. And man, the Trump team did not like that. That was uh, seemed like it would, was leaving money on the table. And it took me about a week to show that actually Anson was right. Paradoxically, it made a lot more sense to stock the LP. Uh, and he, they actually suggested 70%. And I have these receipts too, by the way. Uh, in fact, if you want to look, uh, there was a Ansem programmer that sniped the token and sold it. And I have his ETH address if you're interested in that. Here's something we all know, cheap razors are annoying. They cut you, they irritate you, and heck, they frustrate you. And don't get me started with subscription razor services. Can you say blah? That's why you gotta meet Henson Shaving. Henson Shaving is a family-owned aerospace parts manufacturer that has made parts for the ISS, that's the International Space Station folks in Mars Rover, and now they are bringing precision engineering to your shaving experience. If you're like 88% of men who experience irritation from shaving, you might be expecting the worst with each shave. Yet, Henson users have seen dramatic improvements, including the disappearance of ingrown hairs and razor bumps. Henson Shaving Shaving's innovation comes from an interesting analogy. Think of razor blades as diving boards. The longer the board, the more it wobbles. The micro wobbles are what lead to more nicks and cuts. Henson solves this by minimizing blade extension, addressing the root cause of bad shaves, not the blade itself, but the extension. Henson's aerospace background has enabled the creation of razors with unmatched precision. 
using aerospace grade CNC machines, they achieve a blade extension of just 0.0013 inches, less than a human hair's thickness. This incredibly precise control over the blade's position ensures a vibration-free and incredibly close shave. The Henson Razor works with standard dual-edged blades to give you that old-school shave with the benefits of new school tech. Once you own a Henson razor, it's only about three to five dollars per year to replace the blades. Look, my first shave with the Henson razor was incredibly refreshing. The design is sleek and the durability is exactly what you want and the affordability factor, you simply can't beat it. I'm ready for my next shave right now. It's time to say no to subscriptions and yes to a razor that'll last you a lifetime visit. HensonShaving.com slash Midas to pick up the razor for you and use the code Midas, M-E-I-D-A-S, and you'll get two years worth of blades free with your razor. Just make sure you add them to your cart. That's 100 free blades when you head to H-E-N-S-O-N-S-H-A-V-I-N-G.com slash Midas. M-E-I-D-A-S, and use the code MIDAS. That's henshinshaving.com slash MIDAS and use the code MIDAS. As the intelligencer points out, and as we said at the outset of this video, it's unclear what's actually going on here. And it's not just because the whole crypto, the whole crypto world is shady and confusing. Shrikeli has yet to produce any of these thousand pieces of evidence that proves Barron's involvement. He's not the most trustworthy source. He's a uh, convicted felon. Um, remember, he's the person who was the most hated man in America by jacking up the price of life-saving drugs for HIV and AIDS by 5,000%. And he was then convicted of securities fraud in 2017 and served more than six years in federal prison. So yes, it's a weird story, but as the intelligencer points out, the office of Melania quickly shot down a recent report that Barron would be a delegate, but they really haven't done anything here at all. Both of Barron's parents have dabbled in blockchain-based money-making schemes. You had Donald Trump with those, in my opinion, scammy NFTs. Melania has been selling NFTs as well. Um, and so, you know, they, you know they, they have that in common. Um, but again, you're not hearing much. So is this is this Barron's crypto coin? Is, is that what this is? And was this a pump and dump that he was involved in? Is Shrikeli totally lying? Right now, there's a question mark on all of this. I just wanted to give you the issue. Um, there is no direct answer yet. We will continue to investigate this. If you have any tips, please let us know in the comments below and share your thoughts in the comments below and we will investigate and continue to report as we learn more. Um, but that's where we're at right now. We'll keep you posted, of course, on the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers thanks to your support. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Enough! Send it to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.